What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Hammer Rugby, and we are in week five of the 2020 season of Major League Rugby. This week has been one of the best weeks of regular season play in the league's three-year history, of course, in my humble opinion. As I said last week, this week presented a great slate of matchups. Four of the six matches were conference clashes, headlined, of course, by the battle for the Texas Cup between Houston and Austin, while two of the undefeateds went to battle against cross-conference teams with a little something to prove. Rooney and Colorado, respectively, were trying to stay tough in their respective conferences. Rooney wanted to stay near the top of the table while Colorado is trying to claw their way up there. Week 5 exceeded my expectations starting off on Friday night, where a 4-0 Toronto played their fifth road match in as many weeks. All the travel may have taken its toll as they lost to a determined Colorado side 22-19. On the other hand, an 0 4 Austin found enough determination to rebound from an early 14 0 deficit on the road at Aviva Stadium to earn their first victory in 20 matches. This was made even more sweet by the fact that they earned bragging rights to the Texas Cup. This cup and this contest represent one of those old school style derbies that rugby across the world can capitalize on and i think the mlr has got something good going i hope that the Texas cup becomes one of those epic clashes year in and year out on saturday night uh, it was capped off by a battle between seattle and utah that took 90 minutes to finish this is the longest match in mlr history and what a match it was excellent from start to finish and we saw utah edge out seattle right at the very end. And finally, on Sunday, we were treated to an epic clash between San Diego and New York. This is one of those matches that had everything. It was physical. There were excellent tackles. There were excellent runs from the centers to break the gain line. There was even a few Donnybrooks that broke out during parts of the match. This is, in my mind, in three years of MLR regular season contest, the best match I have ever seen. What a close contest. As a matter of fact, I think the last 25 to 30 minutes really represent what this match is all about because New York, four points down, was camped out inside San Diego's half, putting the pressure on and trying angrily to try to score uh, that final try. Uh, and they were unable to do so. And San Diego came out of the weekend 5-0 and uh, after a 24-20 to victory. So what a, we were treated a great and epic weekend of rugby all around in week five. I watched four of the six games from this weekend's action. One of the consistent things that I saw from the teams that won was their ability on defense to sustain pressure put on them by the offense inside their own defensive third of the field. They were able to do this consistently, and they were able to, uh, on numerous occasions, launch counterattacks or at least relieve pressure in these situations. So in the next few segments, you're going to see pieces of gameplay that really represent this principle from the teams that were victorious. Here are two really good examples of how Colorado was able to use defensive pressure and withstand the Toronto attack and ultimately help them win the game. Uh, there, a nice tackle by Chad Goff. Turnover goes to Connor Cook, who scampers through the middle. Notice the quick transition offense here. Scrummy gets it out to the forwards end of the backs. Renee Ranger gets it out to Ryberg who dies it down. Here again, another Toronto line out. But this is a very common tactic by a lot of teams this year have been successful in scoring tries. They go to a mall inside that 10-meter mark. But notice Colorado goes through the middle of that mall and is able to hold the ball up. It results ultimately in a turnover for Colorado. Two great examples of how they use that stingy defense. And then San Diego does the same. Here, ball gets out. Fly half goes through a little grubber kick. Picked up, almost scores, but good defense right at the try line there. And while awarded uh, a penalty to the Roosters, um, that results in a five-meter scrum here. They're able to resist a try. Five-meter scrum is awarded. Bastro gets picked up, the ball. And uh, bam, look at that. Three guys on the tackle. The big Bastro's is uh, repelled. Um, 
here they go for a little uh, wiper kick, uh, playing advantage, um, but uh, the winger prevents it. Week six of Major League Rugby should prove to be a very interesting. A couple really important things happening here. Number one, it's a bye week for two teams, Toronto and Rugby ATL. Let's see if Toronto can recover from that loss last weekend, find their footing, and progress yet into the last portion of their away uh, matches for this season. Uh, and then we have some really interesting battles where teams are traveling across the country. Uh, the first, uh, NOLA plays Utah. This should be a really good matchup, cross-conference matchup. And then on Saturday, Houston travels to New England. I'm going to pay attention to this one. One of the biggest reasons it's New England's first home match. And what I want to see is what kind of intensity that New England crowd brings to their first ever home match for the Free Jacks. On Sunday, Seattle plays at Rooney. Again, first match this season at home for the Roosters. Let's see if their crowd can bring it and lead them to victory. Colorado travels across the country to Old Glory. We know what kind of crowd Old Glory brought. Um, it's a really intense crowd because uh, it's going to be held small there at Catholic Stadium, but it's a, it was a great crowd. Let's hope they can continue and build on that excitement out there in D.C. And then finally, San Diego travels to Austin. Austin got a victory last week. Kudos to them. Let's see if they can build upon that and upset that perfect record that San Diego carries into the contest. So uh, the last thing I would say, stay tuned as we head into the future weeks. Uh, a lot of professional sports organizations are going to be limiting fan access and universities have actually canceled some of their uh, athletic contests and some are even limiting viewing. We know uh, Washington State is um, reducing and uh, eliminating any kind of uh, crowds at events that are larger to, than 250. Pay attention to what happens with the Seawolves when they have a home match next week. So a lot of interesting stuff happening in week six. Pay attention and stay tuned. I'll be back next week. It's good to see you at Hammer Rugby.